Hi, I'm David with the Mini Metal Maker. Today we're going to be unboxing the Mini Metal Maker as it will arrive when you order one. And also I wanted to unbox the Mini Metal Maker supply pack, just the things that you would probably want to order to get going. So why don't we jump in, let's take it out of the box and I'll show you what you get. So here we have everything that comes in the box with the Mini Metal Maker, uh, including the Mini Metal Maker. So let's take a look. The first thing you should look for is the power supply. This is a 12 volt, 5 amp power supply. Plug this into the wall. This is the power supply 12 volt output there. When you go to connect it to your Mini Metal Maker, it plugs right in to the back right here. There's a power supply, power input. The next thing that you can look for is a USB cable. It's the same kind of cable that you'd use for like a normal printer. So it has the normal flat type here and the printer type here. And if you look on the side of the Mini Metal Maker, there is a jack right below the power switch. Another item, which you should definitely have, is the manual. So I have instructions for setup and use and some things about troubleshooting in here too. Uh, so that should come in handy. When you look at the Mini Metal Maker, uh, you can see that the spot where the cartridge of clay goes is up here in this extruder section. And there is an extrude piston if you notice, there's a little knurled knob on the top. That will let you turn this by hand to bring it up or put it down when you're getting set up for a print. Something that we've noticed after the fact is that uh, it has a tendency to turn by itself if you don't have something to hold that in position while you're printing. That's where this item comes in. We're including these with all of the new Mini Metal Makers. I'm just calling it the extruder spider legs. There are like four little legs. I guess the spider has eight legs, but this little unit goes onto the piston. In fact, we'll probably just ship these in place, but that will be on there. And normally when it's slipped down, this is free to turn, but when you go to print, you can just slide that right up and it will just fit right on the grooves of that knurled knob. I put this, I'll put that right on, fits right on, and it keeps it from turning. So this will always push the piston down. Now, in order to hold a cartridge of clay under there, you'll need something else. It's this cartridge clamp. Cartridge clamp uh, will let you put a cartridge of clay in and tighten by hand. The clay can then be inserted into the extrude section as so. You may need to move the piston up. Whoops. And in this case, I'll have to, I'll have to take the spider leg off, slide that right on up, put this little guy back in, get that ready. And then this is an awkward position. We're looking at it sideways, but this will just go right on in. You can turn it and it will tighten right into place underneath the piston. It's meant to be easy enough to do by hand. You don't need any special tools to do any of this. And then I could turn this by hand until you're right down, seated against the piston and ready to start. And then I would just slide that right up. So that's why we have all those pieces. The Mini Metal Maker uh, alone, if you don't get the supply kit, will actually come with a couple of magnetic build plates too. So these are vinyl square magnets that are specially cut to fit on top of the build plate of the Mini Metal Maker. It lets you print and then easily change one out for another. So you don't have to wait around and let your print dry before you make a new print. We'll let you do your, do your work and keep working. And the last thing is the Mini Metal Maker will come with a 2.5 millimeter 
Allen wrench or little hex key. This is important. It's actually the only tool you'll need to adjust anything on the mini metal maker. And really the main thing you'll adjust is the leveling. So if you take off the build plate, there are three leveling screws there, there, and there. And you'll see in another video how to adjust the leveling so that when you go to print, the tip is at exactly the right level and everything works out great. The next thing I wanted to show you is the contents of the Mini Metal Maker Supply Starter Pack. So when you order the starter pack for the Mini Metal Maker, you'll get three of the tubes of bronze clay. This is Bronze Paste 3D by Metal Adventures. Looks beautiful when you fire it and finish it. Looks very, very golden in color. You'll get eight of these magnetic build plate squares, so vinyl squares. It's great to have lots of these because once you get something printing, you, you'll probably want to print several of them and you can just print and go, swap to the next one, swap to the next one. It makes life a lot easier. You don't have to worry about running out of them. You'll also get a little pack of five, there's one here also, five of the nozzle savers along with a pack of 25 20 gauge extrusion nozzles. These nozzles are technically disposable, but why throw something away if you can just save it and keep using it? The nozzles will eventually clog if they're let to dry. So what I like to do is print for a while with the tube. And if you have clay left for another print, instead of taking this off and having to change it, put a little bit of water in one of these vinyl nozzle savers. You can just pop that right on the end, put this whole thing back in the refrigerator. That's something that's also important. The metal clay, and we say this when we sell you the clay, you should keep it in the refrigerator when you're not using it. It actually flows better when it's cool or cold, just the way that it's set up. This is the cap for the tube, so if you want to store it for a long time, I would recommend just putting the original cap back on. Put it on, put it on tight, finger tight, don't use pliers. The clay also, if you notice when you pop the cover off, there is a wetted cotton ball in the end. And if that's wet, you can be sure that the clay is not drying out in the tube. Just make sure this has uh, enough water to be moist. And that's it. With this, you'll be able to start printing with the Mini Metal Maker and uh, start using it for your projects. Okay, good. So that's been a look at all of the parts and supplies that come with both your Mini Metal Maker and your Mini Metal Maker starter pack. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us on our website at minimetalmaker.com or check out your manual for the Mini Metal Maker. Uh, and also look for upcoming videos coming up about how to set up your workspace and just how to get going with making your art with the Mini Metal Maker. Find out more about the Mini Metal Maker. Visit us online at minimetalmaker.com.